Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Let's look at today's top news. Dr. Rajendra Prasad Medical College achieves landmark kidney transplant surgery. Dr. Rajendra Prasad Medical College Tanda has marked a significant milestone by successfully conducting its first kidney transplant, symbolizing a new era in its healthcare achievements. This achievement was highlighted by Himachal Pradesh Tourism Development Corporation Chairman R.S. Bali during a press conference at the Medical Library on Saturday. According to a UNI report, Bali praised the efforts of Principal Dr. Milab Sharma and his team, noting that the two successful kidney transplants have been performed with 30 more patients awaiting surgery. This advancement will alleviate the need for patients to travel to distant facilities like PGI and AIMS, saving their time and money. The service is offered free of charge under Himgare and Ayushman schemes. Madras High Court orders no selective treatment of patients by doctors. The Madras High Court recently ruled that doctors cannot selectively treat patients, emphasizing equal treatment for all, including poor patients at government hospital. The High Court bench comprising Justice S.M. Subramanya made these observations while addressing pleas challenging the Director of Public Health and Preventative Medicine's proceedings. The petitioners appointed as Assistant Surgeon based on bond agreement under the Tamil Government Servant Act 2016 sought to have their one-year bond period recognized as complete and be relieved from bonded service. World first brain implant fitted in UK boy to control epilepsy seizures. A UK teenager, Oren Nolson, has become the first person globally to receive a brain implant designed to control seizures from severe epilepsy. The neurostimulator placed under his skull sends electrical signal deep into his brain, reducing his daytime seizures by 80%. Oren, 13, who resides in Somerset, suffers from Lenox Castot syndrome, a severe treatment resistant form of epilepsy that began when he was three. Prior to the implant, he experienced daily seizures, sometimes hundreds, often losing consciousness and requiring resuscitation, necessitating constant care due to the high risk of sudden, unexpected death in epilepsy. Patient dies of postpartum hemorrhage after delivery by a BAMS doctor at Patiala Nursing Home. A tragic incident occurred in Patiala where a 31-year-old woman died from postpartum hemorrhage after a delivery conducted by a Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery doctor at a private nursing home instead of a gynecologist. The patient experienced excessive bleeding post-delivery and despite the BAMS doctor's effort to control it, the situation deteriorated. She was transferred to Rajendra Hospital, where she succumbed to her condition after arrival. The Patiala Health Department has initiated an investigation into the incident with a preliminary report requested within 48 hours. Dr. Hatendra Kaur, Director of the Punjab Health Department, confirmed the Directive of the Patiala Civil Surgeon to expedite the report. The deceased husband Singh blamed the nursing home for negligence and demanded justice for his wife's death. Tengu outbreak, Karnataka reports 60% rise in cases. The Karnataka Health Department has reported a nearly 60% increase in Dengue cases in the first half of this year compared to 2023. Cases surged from 2003 by June 2023 to 4,886 this year, with 1,230 cases recorded within BBMP limits and 30 cases in Bangalore rural and urban districts. Healthcare Commissioner Randeep D highlighted efforts to improve the surveillance by deploying health staff to towns bi-monthly to reduce infection rates and educate the public. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.